What's up? Welcome to another episode of Gizmo Slip. Today I'm out here on Martha's Vineyard with Michael Cthulhu. He runs his own YouTube channel where he makes giant swords and weapons from like shows and movies and documents how he makes it. He's a blacksmith and he has his own shop, blacksmithish. Yeah? Just, just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, uh, he, but he, he makes them himself and it's freaking awesome. So, uh, we've got some ice blocks. We're gonna be smashing those cinder blocks and we'll be setting those on fire with some gasoline. We'll set the ice on fire too. We can set yeah. anything on fire here. Okay, yeah. We're out here on his place. It's pretty awesome. Uh, and then we're also gonna be smashing a 4K TV today and that's in this video. iPad Pro and another video coming up. It's gonna be freaking epic. Let's get started. And hopefully that will get it. Are we ready? Should I just go for the uh, water down there? Yeah, just whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So what we got here is a 50 inch 4K TV. Yep, this one's nicer than the one I own. <laughs> I don't even have TV. You don't even have a TV? Wow, look at you. Well, no, I'm not bragging or nothing. It's just like my <laughs> wife's been bugging me to get one, so this video is going to annoy her. <laughs> well, maybe if it survives, we can give it to her. <laughs> <Just kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Whoa. Okay. Nice. So we were discussing about like how are we actually going to set this up so that the sword can go right through it cleanly. And our yeah. thoughts are what? No, I'm worried about locking it. Like, I have that stump over there, but we could also do um, maybe two of my vices, my standalone vices, and we brace something across them. I'm just worried about this guy flipping over or, you know, doing something else crazy because it's down on top as opposed to straight through like you normally mm -hmm. do. We'll figure, mm. we'll figure something out. Yeah, I mean, and then... It's tempting to turn it on. But then again, <laughs> then again, you'd have to be ramming a metal have, sword inside of it. <laughs> I have rubber sole boots. It would be really cool though, look. <laughs> I'd almost be tempted to put a piece of wood underneath because I'm just I'm afraid that, you know, like a piece of wood underneath here look, it's really to bright, stop the, right? would that work? That mightn't even work. You're thinking of it bending down? Okay, that's what I think. Like, and just ripping out of the vice, you know? Mm, yeah, I don't know. And maybe moving the TV yeah. so it rests on that in the middle. Yeah. Oh wait, that would stop it. Yeah. So I mean, can okay. you lift all of this at once or no? Yeah, probably. So wait, wait, wait. We're going to run into a problem with the going. Yeah. That should work. That that would that will. That'll do it. Yeah. All right, we're all braced, and ready to go. You ready to make this swing? Yeah. Do you predict it's going to go all the way down to the cinder block down here? I am from Ireland, so no. I will trip and die on the way to it. <laughs> What do you think, Darren? Uh, I actually think that you have a pretty good chance of going through the base. These new TVs are pretty soft, I mean, at least in our experiences. Yeah, yeah I don't know. I think, I think you're going to make two thirds, and then the, the little metal inside is going to yeah, end so up stopping metal, I'm worried about a metal frame inside. That's what I'm Right. Worried. So, what do you think? Post your opinion in the top right corner. Here we go. Let's slice it. Okay. Are you ready? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we didn't make much progress there. progress there <laughs> oh. yeah. dang I was really thinking we'd go through a little more hmm what, what broke on it did anything break on it it's like the screen got pushed down but not yeah not much yeah here we go swing number two let's see if we can make some more headway on this TV yeah there you go. Here, yep. Yep. Ah! God, dang We 
we've whacked it now twice and we haven't made much progress. So we're going to just whack on it for a while and see what happens. How many whacks is it gonna take <laughs> to get through this? <laughs> Look at all the parts. It just kind of, wow, disintegrated on us. <laughs> I am very sweaty. So what did you think? Did, you, did it meet all your expectations, kind of basically? Yeah, but I mean, like I didn't have a heart attack, but other than that, everything I expected to happen, happened. <laughs> so we kind of folded it down, kind of like, you know, an aluminum can almost squished from the middle. Yeah, it was more like it mushed it as opposed to uh -huh. sliced it. Right, so, wow. Yeah, the thing was this big metal frame in here. That's what stopped it from cutting through. No, I mean like it's not thick metal, but it was just enough to stop it from slicing. Yeah. Oh, you can see it just kind of folded it, mm -hmm. as opposed to sliced it. So what did it take? Uh, Ten swings all together, including the first two. So much for. Uh, can I try hold? Can I try? Sure, sure. Can I try. Yeah, my guess. Try this. Yeah. See if I can break my back. <laughs> wow, that thing is. Gnarly. <laughs> I, I tend to think of my things as harsh physics lessons as opposed to swords. <laughs> Just like not letting it droop is like crazy difficult. <laughs> it's, I'm not, you guys think I'm joking. No, this, it would take someone like the mountain to use that in battle. Yeah, and Literally. then even then you'd be like, you'd be better off having a normal size. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> then again, this thing could just go straight through a person like in mail. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they, it doesn't matter oh, what kind of armor you'd have, it would fold it. <laughs> That's right, it would just go crunk right through them, drop them down. And that might be able to kill someone. <laughs> it might be able That's to. That's such a pleasant thing to come out of such a little mouth. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Go check out his channel, go check out some ice blocks, flaming ice blocks, and we'll go watch some of his videos. He's got some comedy up in there, some how-to, pretty the giant, awesome. The giant swords lend themselves to comedy, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, uh, blah, 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 blah. Rhubarb. That's it for this video, hope you enjoyed it. We'll be bringing more giant sword action with a iPad Pro. Look for that, and yeah, go check out his channel. Thanks so much for watching, we'll see you next time. Brandon and Michael, out.